two particles A and B of mass 7 kilograms and 3 kilograms respectively are attached to the ends of a light inextensible string. So we add forces for the weight 7g 3g is inextensible so B will accelerate up the plane at the same rate as A accelerates vertically. Initially B is held at rest on a rough fixed plane so we're going to add a normal reaction R the angle between R and the weight 3g will be theta. And we add the friction F acting down the plane. We're told that tan theta equals 5 twelfths. So we draw a little right angle triangle with a height 5, base 12. We calculate the hypotenuse using Pythagoras, and that's 13. From this, we can read the sine and cosine of theta as 5 thirteenths and 12 thirteenths, respectively. The string passes over a smooth pulley P fixed at the top of the plane. So as it's a smooth pulley, it tells us the tension in the string either side of the pulley will be the same. So we mark this and denote it by T. The particle A hangs freely below P. The coefficient of friction between B and the plane is two thirds. The particles are released from rest with the string taut and B moves up the plane. We're asked to find the magnitude of the acceleration of B immediately after release. Resolving perpendicular to the plane, we can see that R equals 3g cos theta and F equals 2 thirds R. So F will be 24g over 13. Applying F equal to ma for the particle B, we get T minus 3g sine theta minus F will be the resultant force up the plane and this is accelerating 3 kilograms with an acceleration of A. Applying F equal to MA at A, the net force is 7G minus T and this is accelerating a mass of 7 kilograms with acceleration A. Adding these two equations we get 7G minus 3G sine theta minus F equals 10a. We know sine theta, we know f, from this we can calculate that a equals 2g over 5. We're then asked to calculate the speed of b when it has moved one meter up the plane. We're going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. The velocity after it's moved one meter will be v. The initial velocity is zero. And the acceleration is 2g over 5, and the distance s we're given as 1. From this, we can calculate that v equals 2.8 meters per second. When b has moved 1 meter up the plane, the string breaks. Given that in the subsequent motion, b does not reach p, find the time between the instance when the string breaks and when B comes to instantaneous rest. So when B has moved up the plane one meters, we've already calculated that the velocity of the particle will be 2.8 meters per second. With no tension in the string, we're left with the weight, the normal reaction, and the friction as the three forces acting on the particle. So this will have a new acceleration, let's call it A2. Resolving forces perpendicular to the plane, we get that R is 3G cos theta, F equals mu R, or 2 thirds R, and so F equals 24G over 13. Applying F equals MA for B along the plane, we can see that minus G sine theta minus F, the two forces acting along the plane on the mass of 3G, will equal the mass 3 times the new acceleration A2, from which we can calculate A2 as being equal to minus G. Finally, we use V equal U plus AT to calculate the time required. So here, the final velocity is zero. The velocity at the point when the string breaks is 2.8. The acceleration is minus g, or minus 9.8, times t. 
This gives us t equals 0 0.286 seconds. So this will be the time between the string breaking and b coming to instantaneous rest.